Hello and welcome to one of the learn videos in the Miss Estrick A-Level Biology for Free lesson series. So we're starting today with the introduction to biological molecules and it will cover monomers, polymers and monosaccharides. So we're going to start by just getting yourselves ready. You'll need something to write on um, for some of the questions as we go through and for making notes. If at any point it's too fast or if you are going to be interactive and have a go at the questions, pause as you go. So the first question that you might want to pause on is thinking back to GCSE. What can you remember from monomers and polymers? So definition or any diagrams to represent this. Pause the video and have a go. So you might have drawn something like this. So showing these individual units under monomers and a chain all bonded together under the polymers. And the actual definition for a monomer is it's smaller units which can create larger molecules. So it's the smaller singular or one, which is what a mono unit is. Polymers meaning many. So these are made from lots of monomers and they are bonded together to create the polymer. And we learn about quite a lot of monomers and polymers in biological molecules. Within the carbohydrates, one of the key monomers we'll look at today is glucose. And then later on within this topic, we'll be looking at starch, cellulose and glycogen as examples of polymers. You'll also come across proteins and the monomer amino acid and DNA and RNA structure, which both have the monomer nucleotides. So if we start off just by classifying the carbohydrates, one thing to point out to begin with, the three elements that they all contain are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And we group the carbohydrates according to how many units they contain. So monomers is when you have one single unit. Dimers is two units bonded together. Polymers is many of those monosaccharides or monomers bonded together. So we call the monomers monosaccharides. The dimers, which are two, are disaccharides. And the polymers are polysaccharides. And there's three examples in each of these groups that you need to know for the AQA exam board. For the monosaccharides, it's glucose, fructose, and galactose. So that's definitely something worth making a note of this lesson. And we'll start the next lesson just quizzing you on whether you can remember those. The disaccharides, which will be next lesson, are sucrose, maltose and lactose. And then finally, the polysaccharides that you need to know are starch, cellulose and glycogen. Now, all three of those you'll be familiar with from GCSE, but we go into a lot more detail at A-level about the structure and the function. So glucose is the key monosaccharide that you need to know about. And that's because it's the monosaccharide found in all three polysaccharides. The molecular formula is C6H12O6, which you would need to know. And you also need to be able to draw glucose. So key things to help you remember, it is a hexagon. Hexagons have got six sides and we have six carbons. However, you don't actually have six carbons within the hexagon. We have five in the hexagon and the sixth comes off this bond here. So we have an oxygen within the hexagon as well. And we often number the carbons to make it easier to describe their position. So we start from the right of the oxygen. So this would be carbon one. And carbon one, we have a hydrogen come off the top and hydroxyl off the bottom. Carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, which also has a hydrogen and hydroxyl. Carbon five and carbon six. And you may notice up here we've got an alpha symbol. And that's because there's actually two isomers of glucose. And what an isomer is, is when you have two molecules, or it could be more, which have the same molecular formula. So in this case, we have glucose, two versions, C6H12O6, so same molecular formula, but their structure is different. So that's what we mean by an isomer. And for alpha and beta glucose, the key difference is on carbon one. Alpha glucose is the one we just looked at with hydrogen on top, hydroxyl on the bottom. 
Beta glucose, one difference, and that is those swap position. So hydroxyl on top and hydrogen on the bottom. So in summary, a monomer is a small unit which can create larger molecules. A polymer is made from lots of monomers bonded together. The carbohydrates can be classed as monosaccharides, disaccharides or polysaccharides. Today we looked at the monosaccharides and those are the monomers of carbohydrates. And the three that you need to know are glucose, fructose and galactose. You only need to know glu glucose in detail and that exists as two isomers, alpha and beta. So you might want to click on to the disaccharides lesson next or maybe even the polysaccharides. If you've covered it all, um, go on to practice or even testing your knowledge.